ambassadors yes. and, and the public in general were all so enthusiastic to come out for this uh, fabulous event. And there's an interesting, actually, story of how the whole inauguration ceremony and what went into planning this idea came about. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about that? Well, uh, the Artificial Reef project uh, is one of the Kuwait Dive Team projects, mm -hmm. and uh, we wanted uh, uh, one of our uh, art Artificial re Reefs uh, locations will be open to public. Mm -hmm. So how do we uh, make the opening or the ceremony for opening? It started uh, as an idea. Why don't we bring the Minister of uh, Energy to open the, uh, the, uh, the project? Mm -hmm. So it was started as why don't we uh, do it underwater. Yeah. It was like one of the guys, it was like a joke or something. Okay. But then we thought about it, you know, and uh, we, we uh, took the idea and uh, we start to talk about it and we think about it. So uh, it came, uh, it became reality. And it came true. Yes, and uh, we thought, uh, uh, we, we went uh, too far with the, with the idea. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, of course, uh, the Minister of Energy uh, needed training underwater. So uh, we, we uh, uh I believe this past week he had some very yeah, intensive yes. uh, training. <laughs> yes, we almost daily yeah, and yeah. so forth. We did uh, many dives with him. Mm -hmm. uh, first in the swimming pool, so we can communicate with him and uh, feel comfortable underwater. And we made like um, uh, we we then we took him in the sea okay. and we we uh, make one dive, and it was uh, alhamdulillah everything it was okay. Smoothly, huh? Yes, alhamdulillah. So. Uh, uh, became reality and uh, it was uh, it was more than we expected yes it was actually very unique and very creative idea came up with by the Kuwait uh, dive team and a bit later on I'm sure we'll see some footage of that and we saw a little bit in the report but I'm sure to do this whole project uh, uh, take took a lot of time a lot of preparation to get everything let's say set up lined up organized and so forth tell us about that a little bit well uh, uh, the main, the main, uh, the sponsorship of the opening of uh, this opening ceremony, mm -hmm. uh, it was Kuwait Petroleum uh, Corporation, KPC, KPC, yeah. and uh, with their help, we made everything happen. Alhamdulillah, they handled the uh, 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 logistics of planning. Yes, and, so and the planning and the uh, printing and everything, uh, organi organizing the uh, mm -hmm. ceremony. And uh, it was wonderful, alhamdulillah. Every, everybody helped. I, c I cannot start to mention, you know, the Coast Guard, the Fire Department, uh, Minister of, uh, Ministry of uh, Information, mm -hmm. uh, everybody else. Yes, it was a fabulous event. Uh, we have some footage right there of things going yes, on. Yes, this right is there. where we went to the, to the land mm -hmm. with the, with the uh, minister. There's the now Minister of Energy. These are all uh, Kuwait dive team members. Okay. And we took a dive, the last dive, mm -hmm. just to... Uh, as they say, get their feet wet before yes. joining in. Uh -huh. Yes, and it was wonderful. He was very happy with us. Uh -huh. And he actually, he wanted to sign his name with, with the, with the dive, dive team. He okay. wants to be a member. So this is an honor for uh, the Kuwait dive team. That's to right. To have and, uh, Sheikh uh, Ahmed with us. He is a very uh, sporty uh, yes. gentleman. And it yes. was a nice yes. time that he had there. And actually, everyone uh, who came out there had a fabulous time, as we saw in the footage there. Yes, uh, everybody had a, good, a great time. And uh, it was... Uh, it was uh, so much better than we, we expected. Mm -hmm. But well, the only thing, the weather yesterday was, let's say, it was yeah, some high winds and so forth, and the waves uh, yes. were quite high also. Uh, but that, otherwise, it went all okay, right? Yeah, but we were, we were uh, uh, scared at the beginning mm -hmm. because uh, the time for the uh, minister to arrive to the location was about uh, 3 p.m., okay. 3 afternoon. But uh, we were there in the morning, like 8 in the morning, we were there. And uh, with time, the wind keeps picking, you know, keep getting stronger and stronger. And we can see this boat actually is half water now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like all the water yeah. is coming in there. Yeah, and uh, it was, but uh, lucky for us, uh, that's... Him, this uh, looks like another practice. Uh, yeah, just this is to go to the crowd, you know, okay. to go to the land. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can see him, he's very happy. And... Uh, uh, it was windy, okay. but uh, and uh, we suggested to to him that uh, we can we can move the ceremony to the land. Uh -huh. He said, "No, I will dive and I will do do it underwater." So, alhamdulillah. So he wanted to go through with it, no matter what the yes, weather conditions were. Yes, it was windy, were. big waves, but uh, he wanted to do it. 
And uh, Mr. Abdel Al-Fadl, you are also the photographer. Yes. So I believe you were doing the photography underwater uh, yes. uh, along with uh, Sheikh Ahmed Fad and some of the other uh, people that dived. Yes. Tell us about that. I'm sure our viewers would like to know uh, what well, actually took place underwater. Everybody wanted to dive with the, with the minister, mm -hmm. but we had to make some control. So uh, uh, this is the guys who uh, made the dive mm -hmm. with, the, the, with the minister, only the head of Kuwait dive team. Okay and uh, two photographers, mm -hmm. still photographers, and one video photographer, okay. video, videographer. And uh, uh, this is actual reef yes. being uh, this prepared this to be put this down is the to symbol, the water. This is the symbol of uh, Desman Gate. Yes. We made a symbol of it. Mm -hmm. And this was the last piece of the artificial reef uh, project. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's, he's the one actually who unhooked himself. He did it. That's he, the he minister, un yes. unhooked underwater the... Uh, the big cables there, okay. and uh, it was wonderful. Uh, of course, when we uh, first went uh, to the uh, to the bottom, he unhooked the uh, the big structure. Okay. <coughs> then uh, he went to the ribbon, mm -hmm. and he cut the ribbon underwater. Mm -hmm. It was wonderful, and uh, we made him to take photographs. We made him still for about five minutes okay. to you know take the best shot. Of course. And he was very patient. He was very very nice and. Uh, uh, also, after that, uh, he went and he planted uh, reefs mm -hmm. uh, or coral reefs. Okay. Uh, uh, he planted some corals okay. on the same p on the same uh, Desman uh, Gate. Okay. Uh, also, after that, uh, we took him to the uh, to the reefs, the big reefs, the, the the room like and the structure. He went inside inside the, of one of them, okay. and he looked around of the uh, Jabber uh, reefs underwater. He mm -hmm. took like a tour, so, uh, a quick tour. Then he went. Uh, to uh, one of our uh, morning boys, the new ones, mm -hmm. and he, he actually attached it. And he, he made one boy, we, we, will call, we will call him after his name. You know, oh, okay, so yeah. it was quite active then. It was, uh, yeah, we took a long time. And about how long was this process, the whole about process maybe, underwater? Maybe half an hour. Okay. Because everybody thought it would be 10 minutes, and mm -hmm. everybody up was, was waiting for us, but we took a long time. So they knew that the Wazir, alhamdulillah, is comfortable and having a good time. That's great. That's really great to hear. And uh, it's also <coughs> worth noting that the Kuwait dive team uh, has also produced a documentary on this uh, special day, I believe. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Uh, mm -hmm. we, uh, we, will, uh, we already released uh, a film last week okay. about uh, uh, Jabir uh, Kuwait reefs. And inshallah, we'll, we'll... With the new footage yesterday, probably make it even at a larger scale? Yes, that's... The, yeah, mm -hmm. we will... Uh, we w the, the, uh, no, the, the opening uh, ceremony, we'll make uh, another... Okay, film, separate inshallah. one. Huh? Separate one, documentary about the whole thing, inshallah. And that, very soon will come. that will come out soon with, I believe, inshallah. CD form and everything. Inshallah. Okay, that's also something to uh, look forward to. But uh, tell our viewers now, how many of those artificial reefs are there out there now? Well, uh, we have uh, made uh, 19 mm -hmm. in different locations around Kuwait, in Garo Island, in Kubar, in Namul Maradim, uh, uh, Rajan, uh, uh, Benader, of course, the okay. grand one, which we call the, uh, the grand uh, Benader uh, reefs. And uh, it's 19 uh, locations around mm -hmm. Kuwait. This is the Jabra al Kuwait uh, reefs. It's not, not only that location. Mm -hmm. You know, some people think it's, it's only in Benader. It's around Kuwait. And uh, the one uh, we opened yesterday was the Bonader uh, reefs. Okay. So it's one of 19. One of 19. One of 19. 19 are all Jabr uh, reefs. And the one that was opened yesterday, that's open for the public? This they yeah. could go dive there and yes. enjoy that reef? Yes, it's a good, good point to, mm -hmm. uh, to remind me. And uh, uh, the other 